Ben here from hyperfinearchitects.com. Today I'm going to talk about how to convert your Revit projects from Imperial to Metric. It's a very easy, straightforward process, but there are a few tips and tricks you need to look out for in case everything doesn't convert right away the first time. I'm making this video because we get a lot of questions on the 30 by 40 Design Workshop Revit template. Uh, I answered most of the main ones in a different video, but uh, I did not cover how to convert to Metric, so I'm going to do that today. Like I said, it's a very easy, straightforward process. You just got to gather up a few of these tools. Make sure you have your circular saw, your nail gun, and don't forget your hearing protection. Uh, you might need a stud finder. Uh, in just a few hours, we'll be able to get all our Revit projects from Imperial to Metric. So let's get started. All right, we're looking at the 30 by 40 Design Workshop Revit template. And this is Imperial, so I'm going to go over how to change this uh, this project and really any project from Imperial to Metric. And it's a three-step process. Uh, the first step is really easy. We're going to change it globally in the settings everywhere. And then we're going to look at some different families um, and some different components in your project that might not change when you change everything globally and why that is. So our first step is we're going to go to the Manage tab and we're going to go to Project Units. And here you just have all the different units and it's as easy as clicking on and changing it to what you want. So it comes in as feet and fractional inches. We're going to change it to meters or centimeters if you use that. Area, you can change that to square meters, centimeters, millimeters, whatever your preferred unit is. And volume would be another one. Click out, hit OK. And now our project is in metric. Uh, you can see some things haven't changed, so we're going to go over that next. But if you go over, let's say if you start building a new wall, you can see the the temporary dimensions are showing in metric, right? So our project is now in metric. And if you look over here, let's do a filled region real quick. You can see the area is showing as, you know, the area is showing in metric. So our project is in metric, but not everything has changed. And so let's talk about why that is. So two things you got to look out for that might not convert are dimensions and any families that have some kind of measurement component to it. So let's talk about dimensions first. You can see this one is still showing in Imperial, 18 feet, 0 inches. And the reason this is is because when you style your dimensions, let's go to edit type. When you style your dimensions, one thing people usually do is change the units format. And this is so that they can either round the dimensions or hide the inches or show only inches, that type of thing, right? So you can see use project settings is unchecked. If that was checked, this dimension would have converted into metric. But because there's some special styling, we have unchecked use project settings. So for every dimension in your project that's still showing as imperial, still showing feet and inches, you're going to have to go through this process. So edit type, choose units, and change it to whatever you want, meters, centimeters, whatever. Um, and then suppress trailing zeros. This is just the, the one to note. So if you have, say, 3.5 meters, it's going to show 3.5 meters. If it's 3.0 meters, suppress trailing zeros, it's going to show only as 3. So that's what it's going to look like uh, in our project right here. So we'll hit OK. So now it's just showing us 5 meters. There's In this project, there's maybe six dimension types. You can find them all on the, the first sheet on the home page. You can see this one right here is the one we converted. All the rest are still in Imperial. So you'll have to just go through this process a few times. You can see it only takes about a minute to go through and do all of them. And so just repeat that process for all your dimensions. All right, so the next thing you have to look out for is any family that has some type of measurement in it. So here we have a stair tag that's showing the risers and the height of the risers. So let's edit the family. So now we're out of our Reg Revit project. We're in our family. And the riser height is reported with this label right here. So if we select the label and we'll choose Edit Label, we have to select it over here. And then you get this little uh, pound sign with a hand pointing to it. Let's check that, and now we get this same format. And so we'll change that one to, say, centimeters. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. Right here, it's still showing 7.5 inches just because the sample value is 7.5 inches. So if I made that, say, 55 or something, then that's going to just signify it's 55 centimeters. Uh, so let's load this into the project. We'll overwrite the existing version. And now you can see it's 17 centimeters. So I'm going to repeat that process one more time. Uh, and this time we'll look at an elevation, because someone asked specifically about that. So if you come into an elevation, you see the level markers are still showing as feet. It's the same thing, because the symbol is a family that has some type of measurement component to it. So uh, to get to this, let's select our level. We'll do edit type. And we'll see that the symbol is something called 30 by 40 level head circle. So if we come over down to our families, 
and we find 30 by 40 level head circle. We'll edit family. We'll zoom in, and if we select elevation, that's a label. And so we'll repeat the process. We'll edit label. We'll select it right here. We'll check this box, and then we will change it to meters. And we'll hit OK. We'll hit OK, and now it doesn't change because obviously the sample value says elevation, so that's just a sample value. But if we load this back into our project, we can see now we're showing meters. Okay, and just a few quick notes. Uh, I use a lot of shortcuts in this project. One of them was ET for edit type. That was a custom shortcut. You can get those for free over on my website, hyperfinearchitecture.com. Check out the downloads page, and I've got a free shortcuts file with a PDF and some other free Revit stuff for you guys to download. The project I've been demonstrating is the 30 by 40 Design Workshop Revit template. You can check that out here. I'll put all these links down in the description. Uh, and if you want more pro length tutorials um, about how to actually design a house, how to model an entire house and document it in Revit, check out my pro course, hyperfinearchitecture.com slash Revit. Click on any of the order buttons, and if you want to sign up, maybe use discount code METRIC and see what happens.